Hello everyone, TMAN978. Now it's Anime Heroes, Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac, Sagittarius, Aelos, Aelos. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to pronounce that. But you see this retro style anime image right there. Kind of reminds me of the artwork used for shows like Voltron and whatnot. T-Man 978, Chill Review. All right. Because of the thicker plastic and the improvement on the articulation in the waist, I was going to come into this review like super duper praising this guy. But, which I, I still can. Because it, it does feel like an improvement over Pegasus Sia right here. Because, look at this. The ab articulation is way more significant. It's significantly better. And, in fact, like, the quality all together, because, like I said, the thicker plastic, it, it just feels better and less loose because he's so skinny this happens a lot with skinnier figures where you might have one loose leg joint or something like that but they made a design choice that's kind of wacky like i literally don't know why they made it but you see what it looks like i think a lot of the budget of these figures went into the paint the paint is awesome like they he's fully painted gold the only things not painted is the red plastic in the crotch area. And I believe the hands are painted gold and this flesh tone right there. And the shoulders, the shoulders appear to be just a flesh tone plastic. And of course the face and this up here. Everything else is gold and that, that's crazy. But... You see all the details while I've been doing all this. These wings do not move in any type of way besides the fact that they're pliable. As far as I can tell. It has like pretty much the same articulation. You get more of a rock forward on the bottom part of the neck. It doesn't really look up too much unless you force it. Which I'm probably popping that neck out the peg. Of course it can swivel. It can tilt and whatnot. It can look down. You get that little bit of butterfly. Again. You bump into this. This is definitely hard plastic. It can go out. Swivel. You get this much range on the elbow. Which is good. Universals again. On the wrist. Which is awesome. The peg seems to be a little bit longer. Than that dude right there. I showed the waist. The hips go out to here. Well, actually, they, they do drop down a bit. And this can raise up a little bit, it seems like. They do drop down and go out a good bit. Coming forward, hindered. The skirt piece does not go up high enough to really significantly get out the way. But it is flexible, so you can fudge a, po picture, fudge a pose for a picture and... Push it back down before it bends out of shape. Knees bend that much. And you have universal ankles. But they are under this. So this is a good pivot right there. To be honest. But you are a bit hindered forward. It can't come forward at all really. And you can swivel around and whatnot Because that's a universal joint. Now here is. And I don't know. That wasn't creaky like that at first. <laughs> yeah, same type of ball joint. When this was doing thigh rotations, I kept doing this. I kept pulling the leg off. And I was like, so I tried to like move this while it's unattached. And here's the weird thing right here. They put a peg right there or a locking point so that you can't swivel and yeah, that, that's a weird move. It's a separate piece. So I can understand like parts count and whatnot sometimes making the price go down, but or keeping stuff in a certain price range. But why they that's still two separate pieces. 
so why they put that piece there to stop the swivel? That's weird. Like, you come to expect a, a thigh swivel, or at least I do, if, if all the other figures have it. So you just get whatever the ball joint gives you. And, yeah, that's, that's a weird design choice. But anyway, besides these awesomely sculpted hands, let's, let's get in on the face. This is what you're working with. As far as the face sculpt, here's the hair and the head. And I know they do give you these fisted hands. So I typically like that. I like getting some type of gesture hand and fist, especially for characters that fight. Now these guys from the clips of the show and from the studying of the show that I've seen, they use magical powers. So I'm shocked they don't come with like special effects and whatnot. But like I said, all this gold probably blew the budget, to be honest with you. So there's that. So yeah, cool figure, super poseable once again. It's not the most dynamic like but it does have a lot of range. It's pretty much any type of pose you want, you'll get besides in the hip area and definitely out of that thigh rotation. But one thing I do like is the improvement on the waist joint. Like if all of them had a design, like if all of them work like this or this good going forward and back, I wouldn't complain. So let's see what the next guy holds. Here's this comparison right here. Here is a Marvel Legends, and here's where we see that this thing is 6.5. Here's Master Chief right there. And yeah, there we go. Thank you, Bandai USA, for sending this guy out for me to review or mess with. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, Team Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Click the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click those f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click that shit.